Um, Nadav, you spoke earlier about the concept of smart contracts unchained. Uh, so explain, please, what's the difference between having these smart contracts, these conditional payments, completely on-chain and completely off-chain? What's the fundamental difference? Um, well, the on-chain version is not scalable <laughs> or private, and the off-chain version is, uh, but it's harder, I guess, is the trade-off. Um, you know, it's it's relatively simple to go, you know, code up some new solidity contract and, and have it run on Ethereum or something. Uh, and it's it's significantly more involved to build a version of that that scales and is private and uh, executes using, you know, some off-chain cryptography and state uh, between peers. Um, but Why I guess... That scalability oh, and privacy is so intertwined here. Yeah, I mean, essentially, it's because the the scaling bottleneck we're talking about is the blockchain, and with the blockchain, um, it having something on chain. So, so block space is a scarce thing. Like the 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 fee market is a market for block space in some sense, and um, yeah. So essentially, the on chain version of contingent payments means that. Uh, you're going to run into scaling issues because you're using a scarce thing to to execute your contingent payment um, in in a much more heavy duty way than just like a normal payment, um, which is what it, it, it's built for or useful for. And uh, then on top of that, be, like the scarce thing you're using also happens to be public, so it's kind of the the scalable thing also happens to be the private thing. Because uh, it, it's not using a blockchain essentially, and because because blockchains are terrible for many things and good for a couple things, um, yeah. So I think oftentimes in the quote unquote blockchain space, like private things tend to be more scalable than not private, which is nice. <laughs>